Hey there, Eric Henderson here, and I'm making a video today. Um, I think it's it's something that a lot of people are confused about when it comes to online entrepreneurship, home business entrepreneurship, and uh, just really whether you're trying to transition from a job or you're trying to maybe switch, maybe you're in a business now, you're trying to get into a different business. Whatever it is, a lot of people, if they want to start a business, they want to work from home. So I'll give you an example. Today was a pretty cool day for me. Uh, I work from home, been working from home pretty much, or, or work for myself or home my whole life. Always wanted to do that. Um, but just recently, we have two young kids. And so finally we said, you know what, that's it. To get to the next level in our business, we need to put our youngest in sort of some part-time you know, preschool thing. And the kids are like three and a year and a half, so they're close in age. And so we today is the first morning. This is actually the first morning that I have had in over three years without like a child, you know, at home. And so um, it's it's interesting. I don't even know what to do with myself. But my point of this video isn't about my kids, uh, but it's about if you're going to start a home business, if you're going to start any type of business where you want to work from home. In, in, I'm speaking mostly to if you're using a computer, a laptop, and you can sort of build a virtual business. Whether it's affiliate marketing, maybe you have an e-commerce store, maybe you're network marketing, home business, whatever it is. I've been doing this a long time, and I'll tell you, I, I wrote down, I was just drawing out something this morning. Because I was thinking, you know, for the average person, if they've never even gone down this road, it is overwhelming. There's so many things that the average person comes into with this desire to either quit their job or you know work from home and all that stuff, but they just don't know how to to get started. So so it's always like not only how do I get started, but once I get started, what are my what are the realistic expectations? And then what's the next step, right? What's the next step? What's the next step? So I want to make just a raw video here, one of the rooms in my house, to talk to you about and I'll make it quick. Okay, it'll it'll be, be valuable. And I broke down, so let's say today you decided what either one of two things. You guys said, that's it, I'm going to quit my job. You have enough money in the bank or something to carry you for a little while. He said, I'm just going to quit my job and I'm going to focus for six months straight consistently on building my own business from home with my computer, part time maybe, because you may have kids or other things going on. If you can do it full time, awesome. Um, if you said, or maybe you didn't just quit your job, maybe you said, I'm going to work this around my job, okay? Either way, this will work for anybody, this formula, if you want to call it, um, to build your own business the right way and basically say, how do I get from here, from where I am now to where I want to be? And uh, so let me just break this down for you in the simplest of terms, okay? <clears throat> so... I always say, if you're going to, now let's talk part-time. Most people are not going to do this full-time. Um, if you're going to do it full-time, double the numbers, okay? I always tell people, especially in home business, where if you're in an opportunity where you are promoting something or building a business around something, that you have thousands of other people building that business, like network marketing or affiliate marketing, where you're not the only one selling a product, um, or, you know, even if you are going to be selling your own products, they probably have competing products in the marketplace, right? So at least an hour a day, you need to spend figuring out what makes you unique. Always sort of perfecting, honing, improving whatever it is that you're selling or you're representing that makes you unique in the marketplace, right? Your unique selling proposition, your unique service offering. Um, I like to call it your sweet spot. I always train people and talk with people about what's your sweet spot. Your sweet spot meaning in the middle is where the money is, where the success is, where you want to get to. And around it, you have four things. You've got your strengths, your interests, okay, your passions, and your resources. Because everybody has different resources, right? Some people have more money to invest than others in marketing or whatever. So if you can spend at least an hour a day constantly making sure that you are staying unique, that you're offering something of real value, and so that when you're doing the next step, which would be you want to spend at least two hours a day marketing yourself and marketing that uniqueness, right? Marketing that value that makes you unique in the marketplace. And so by constantly becoming better at differentiating yourself, you eliminate being a commodity, right? So you're not competing for price, which is a good thing. And 
you can figure out unique ways and sort of uh, creative ways to package what you do that makes it really unique. So it makes people want to work with you and do business with you over maybe your competition. And you want to really constantly carve out a niche and get clear and clear who that niche is, okay? And so again, even if you're a home business in terms of, like I said, network marketing, affiliate marketing, this isn't as hard to do as you think, but it's, it's what most people don't do. Most people just promote their business the same way everybody else does, and there's really no added reason or added value for you, someone to join you. Okay? So we've got an hour a day on your unique selling proposition, an hour, uh, two hours per day, say, marketing and getting it out there and getting better at the fundamentals, the principles, things like, you know, creating content. Yeah, you're going to have to learn maybe to put a blog post up or make a video like I'm doing here. It's really not that hard. Set my lit, one of my houses in my room here in my house and just shot a video. Okay? Uh, maybe you want to start to learn how to do things on Facebook. That's all part of that two hours. So now we're at three hours a day, right? Two hours marketing, one hour for USP. The last, if again, if you're doing it part-time, three, four hours a day, the last hour is really spent in development. So it could be personal development. It could be marketing development, getting better at figuring out how to market your business, grow your business, improve your processes. And that's it. I mean, if you can focus on those four hours per day on any business that you're in, in, in the sense of where you're working from home and you have time, okay? Now, in the next video I'm going to be making, probably make it right after this one, but I'll keep it separate, keep this short. I'm going to talk about the environment. What kind of environment do you need to have at your house, in your home, if you're going to work from home? For instance, one of the examples I used was I put both the kids, finally both of our kids now are in Monday, Wednesday, Friday, part-time uh, child care. Because, you know, we had basically hit a level where we couldn't go any further because our responsibilities, most importantly as parents, uh, just weren't allowing us to do it. So that's one of the things that I will, I'll, I'll talk about in the next thing is once you understand what you should be doing with your four hours, you got to make sure your environment is conducive to build the business, right? So I hope this was valuable, and I hope it's something more unique. And a lot of people don't talk about these things. But they get these unrealistic expectations of I'm just going to quit my job or I'm going to do a business from home part time. But you don't really know what it takes. So as I develop, I don't know how long the series of videos are going to be. But then we can really get into the heart of what you should be doing, what kind of marketing, how do you do it, right? Do you need a blog? How do you do video marketing, stuff like that? It's not as complicated as you think. And you know, I always tell people, if you can learn to drive a car, if you can learn to you know, do half the things you do in your daily life that you didn't know at one time how to do, you can do this stuff. It's not that hard, all right? So uh, I'll put this video out. Hopefully, no matter when you find it, I hope you find it valuable. And uh, let me know if there's, some, if there's other things you want me to talk about. Because um, I, again, I, I bring that experience of, I've, I've had the struggles and the successes though of trying to overcome how do I start a business from home with all the distractions, right? You have enough on the computer if you're working from the computer, all the distractions, all the different windows you have open, Facebook's there, your phone's probably there, and then you've got the other stuff. You know, it's a beautiful day here out in Boston, Massachusetts, where I live. So it's easy to want to go outside, play in the yard, take a walk, go to the gym, do whatever I want to do. But you've got to stay focused. And I recommend at least part-time following these steps. So hope that helps, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.